everyone, Miss Durbin here once again for the second major project video. Um, we are going to create some nice, simple, fun color wheels. These will be due next week. Um, I know this is being submitted probably by Tuesday, so usually I give everyone at least a week and a half to complete a project. So, we're going to shoot for next Tuesday that this is due. Um, this is pretty simple, straightforward stuff. It's a, probably a review for a lot of you. Um, but we're just going to create a basic colored wheel. You have a choice of using colored pencil. You can use markers. If you have any kind of paints, like I've got some watercolors there, you're welcome to even paint it. That's fine. So any of that is fine. I'm just going to do a basic demo so you know how to do an, a layout and then just fill it in with color. Okay, if you'll bear with me for a second, I'm going to place my phone in the holder. Okay, hopefully we can see my paper somewhat. <laughs> um, this is a very simple, basic color wheel. We're going to even go a step below that and keep it real easy so that no one gets confused about what to do. Um, what I have here right now is just a really basic circle. You can do this in a variety of ways. You can fold and cut your own template and then lay it down and trace it. You can go find something round that you just want to trace, that's totally fine. Um, if you want to cut your own template, real simple, you just fold a piece of paper and think about a half circle shape. Take some scissors, hold on to that folded side, and create a half circle. And that will give you a basic circle. It may not be perfect, like that's kind of oval, you know, that's up to you. But that's just a quick, easy way to do it. Um, I went ahead and sketched out my circle. Try to center it here in the middle of the camera. All you have to do to start off, once you have a traced or drawn circle, you're going to just take a ruler and kind of estimate where the center of your circle would be. And, you know, from math, you know the diameter and the radius of a circle. So my circle is roughly 10 inches across. So about the five is where I put my central point. And that creates the center of the circle. It does not have to be perfect. You don't have to measure it. If you just want to eyeball it, that's great too. Okay, so take your ruler and you're going to break that circle in half vertically and horizontally. And then after that, all you need is two diagonal lines, so like an X through the middle. Then what I'm going to do is simply label. I have my little diagram over here. Um, if you want to Google color wheel images on your Chromebook, you're welcome to pull up any kind of basic color wheel, and that's a good reference to go by if you need it. So I am going to label the colors in order. Okay, rainbow order spectrum, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. I get a lot of questions about what is indigo. And basically that is a mix of blue and purple, okay? So you're gonna have one more left. I'm going to ask that you represent a neutral color. What is neutral? 
neutrals are browns, black, white, gray. Okay, so if you want to, like I might just do black. And you can pick a neutral color. If you want to do white, yes, you can leave that white, that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to time lapse this part because Again, you don't want to watch me color for an hour, so we're going to pause it here, do a little time lapse, and then we'll come back. 